to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep no more, and by our sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to? Tis the consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Eh, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil? Must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pain of the spy's love, the law's delay, the insolence of office and the spurs that they should merit the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietness make with the bear boykin? Who would fight us bad to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death. The undiscovered country from whose born no travelers returns. Puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have done fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is circled over with the pale cast of thought. In enterprises of great pith and moment, with disregard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Soft you now, the fell philia, nymph, in the horizons be all my sins remembered. <laughs>